The United States is not the land of the free and the home of the brave. It is the land of the fee and the home of the slave. And um, more and more Americans are waking up to that fact, and hallelujah to that, because only if they do so and then act upon their uh, new perception will they truly have any chance of living in a land that is any way associated with freedom um, and a land that makes a contribution to peace in the world, not a contribution to more and more slaughter, more and more conflict, and therefore more and more acquisition of people and land. The world is headed towards, um, towards a society, a global society, very much along the lines that was described by George Orwell in his book 1984. Um, I'm almost hesitant to use the phrase, um, the world is heading, because the world is to a large extent there. It's not a case of whether we are going to allow the world to go into a police state. We already are in one. Uh, the question is, how deeply are we going to allow it to happen? The reason now that we're seeing more and more of this police state around us in, in a form that we can see and cannot any longer deny is because um, humanity is waking up there are enormous numbers of people who are now beginning to allow the veil to lift and allow themselves to see what they couldn't see before. When I started talking about all this 20 years ago and writing about it, um, I was talking to um, a man and a dog when the dog could be bothered to turn up. Um, I was uh, the nutter uh, in Britain, uh, the person people laughed at and dismissed. Now I talk to thousands of people at a time, and my work is, is known all over the world. Um, I have been a barometer for a, a dramatic uh, awakening of uh, vast numbers of people, and it's an exponential curve. But we are now um, at the point where those institutions and these uh, institutions of control and uh, surveillance and all the rest of it are now being put in place. So this hidden dictatorship all this time is now coming to the surface where it can be seen. And this gives us an opportunity for people to actually start to do something about, about what's happening. Because instead of being some uh, far off sometime over the rainbow, it might come sometime, it's now in our face. The police state is staring us in the eye and it's getting uh, more and more uh, imposed upon us and more and more imposed on society every day. They look at the world, they know there's something not right. There's something that, that's, that's not um, the way they want it to be and there's, they feel uneasy about it. But they try to placate those fears, not by facing them, but by trying to find a way of making them disappear with words like, oh, no, we would never allow a police state. Not in America, no, never allow a police state. Britain, never allow a police state. I wonder if they said that in Germany just a few decades ago. We'd never allow a, 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 a dictatorship in Germany. We're a land of freedom. And look what happened. In a few short years, they had a grotesque dictatorship. Um, and that's how fast it can come from the Weimar Republic to the uh, Nazi dictatorship in Germany by Hitler and company was a few years, not even a few decades. And the greatest weapon of any dictator is to divert attention from the people. So they're looking the other way and um, allowing the dictatorship to be built and imposed and all the infrastructure put in place. So by the time they absolutely have to face reality, it's all there, it's all done. I'm sick of this, and I'll tell you why I'm sick of it, because while these pathetic, naive people, despite all the evidence before them, are looking the other way, oh no, it's just paranoia, while they're doing that, 
They are allowing these people to impose their will on my children and my life, and I'm not having it. And if, um, if people would just um, engage a few more brain cells, open the eyes and look, they will see um, the scale of uh, fascism, no other word for it, um, that we are um, uh, being subjected to today. And if you don't wake up and you go on looking the other way, well, the fascism just gets more. And eventually it will dawn on you, and by then it will be too late. Don't look to me for sympathy when it happens, mate, because you've got your chance now. Good Lord. There are no words.
So, are we going to make a stand now and draw a line in the sand and say here and no further? In fact, we're going to roll this back. Or are we going to wait until it's got really, really extreme, by which time there'll be so much infrastructure in place that drawing a line in the sand will be a serious challenge? And we either face it now or we face it a little bit further along the road when if we think it's not very good now, it'll be a bloody nightmare by then. It's time to lift the arse off the sofa and bring an end to this nonsense. Because otherwise, um, we're just building our own prison cell or sitting around while someone does it. Is that sensible? I think not. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm struggling to find words because words fail me. Um, the idea that uh, governments, with their record, have the interests of the people at heart. Um, anyone who believes that is, is basically a lost cause um, in terms of understanding what's happening in the world. Um, and I'll just leave them to get on with it. And uh, when the knock comes on their door, um, don't call me.